In this lesson, we are going to learn how to connect a parallel circuit. And the apparatus that we require for these activities are as such. Two battery holders with batteries connected in series. Two switches. Two light bulb holders with the light bulb installed. And we need six wires. So basically, if you look at the big picture, right, we're going to connect all the apparatus into something like a nested loop. So if we start off with the battery, we'll form one loop here. Okay, and after that, I'll form another loop here. So it's going to look something like a figure of it. Okay, and let's start off with it. From the red knob of the battery, okay, I will connect the wire. Okay, so basically just slot in the wire and you tighten the red knob. And this part of the wire, right, you go to the connection point here. So we bend the spring, slot it in and release. And guys, take note, um, I told you that we try to keep the switch open while we are doing the connection. This is for safety reason and, and as well as not to waste the battery. Okay, so now Connect this to the light bulb and we are almost done with the first loop. Okay, back to the black knob and we are done for the first part. So let's try to see whether this loop is working. So we can just close the switch and the light bulb lights up. So this part of the circuit is alright. Okay, so now we open the switch and continue with the second loop. So the beauty of this connection point, right, is that this spring, you know, when you bend it, you see a lot of gaps. So it's possible for you to put in two wires or two or more wires into this uh, spring connection point. So slot it in. Can you see that now? There's two wires connected to this connection point. Okay, so that's uh, the excellent part about this type of connection point. So now, I will connect it to the switch here to form the second loop. And you will see that you have black and red wires in your circuit set. Okay, basically they work the same way and you can use them interchangeably. Okay, and lastly, I'll connect this back okay, to form the second loop. Okay, so now we are done. And you can see that there is something like a figure of it. So, um, we can close the switch. If I were to close the first switch, the first light bulb will light up. Okay, if I were to close the second switch, of course the second light bulb will light up. Okay, and basically I can choose to turn on uh, any of the light bulbs in a parallel circuit because each light bulb has a switch attached to it so I can control the light bulbs individually and if you compare that with a series circuit in a series circuit we can only turn on and off all the light bulbs at the same time okay so basically this is the main difference of these two circuits okay and I hope you have enjoyed the lesson